Hi again, everybody. Uh, somebody had asked about number three, and to be perfectly honest, I'm guessing more and more people will probably uh, ask for help on something like this in the beginning simply because we didn't get to do one in class like this. So uh, here we go. I will uh, just sort of explain it so when you see something like this again, you'll, you'll kind of know what to do. Uh, the, the thing here is we're not actually using the fundamental theorem just yet. Uh, it's sort of in here, but, but for the first part, just to kind of get you started, all we're basically doing is, is kind of going old school and just understanding what the integral actually is, is, you know, stands for. Remember, we're just adding up the, you know, the rectangles, base times height, right? Base times height, adding up all the rectangles. Now, you're not actually going to take a limit here. We don't even know what the function is. And while I understand you could sort of, you know, come up with the function itself as like a piecewise, that's not the purpose of this question. You're just supposed to look at this and say, okay, g is defined as the integral from 0 to some x of the function that's graphed there. Okay, this is f. I do have that in terms of t. And if you just go one piece at a time, evaluate g of 0, you can literally put 0 in for x and say, okay, I want the area accumulated from 0 to 0 of this function. Well, if I'm starting at 0 and I go to 0, I haven't accumulated very much, have I? In fact, I'd say I haven't accumulated anything. So that's why if you happen to look in the back, you saw that this first one is, is actually 0. In fact, any time you take an integral from a to a, right, from a to a, when the values are the same, you're not going to have anything because there's no area there. So it's not really that interesting, but technically that's what it is. How about 1? Now we get to actually do some work. We go from 0 to 1, which means I'm basically going from x equals 0 to 1 here, and I've accumulated all this area here. Well, because this is, you know, you know, horizontal and, you know, vertical. I mean, it's pretty easy to just calculate this as, you know, a, a 2 by 1 rectangle. So that area is 2. So the answer to g of 1 is 2. g of 1 is the area from 0 to 1 of f, which is 2. It's positive 2 because I'm above the x-axis. And because I'm only going from 0 to 1 for my x values, uh, I have a, essentially a rectangle here, just one simple rectangle to find the area. How about g of 2? Well, g of 2 says go a little bit further. This time you've, you're accumulating all this and you're accumulating all this. Okay, so now that one single shape isn't, you know, that nice to do, but I could break it apart. In fact, you could do, you know, you could do this square, a 2 by 2 square plus this little triangle that's 1 by 2, right? Or you can just do the first rectangle that you already got plus a trapezoid. However you want to do it, it really doesn't matter. You're just doing basic geometry here. So, you know, you have 2 by 2, which is 4, plus 1 by 2 is 1 if you do uh, area of a triangle. So 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay, and that's all you're doing. The only time it may get a little tricky is when you have to go out somewhere over here. Okay, so, you know, 1, 2, 3, that probably is fine. 4, 5, 6 is here. So I've got all this area and this area here, but it's not the total area. Okay, when you're just doing an integral, it's, it's understood to be the net change. So I have to take all my positive value and all my negative value and combine them, right, plus and minus, and see what's left over. Okay, so if you do that, uh, you should get, what's that? 4, we said that was 5, plus a 1 by 4, so that's 2, so that's 7 above. That sounds right, 7 above, so plus 7. And then how much do I have below? Uh, I've got a trapezoid of a height of 2, a base of 3, and a base of 1. 3 plus 1 is 4, divided by 2 is uh, 2, times 2 is 4. So plus 7 minus 4 is 3. So my g of 6 would be positive 3, because I have 7 units above, 4 units below. The net value is 3. Okay, so hopefully that helps with problems like this. Uh, you could probably do the rest of it, just or piece it together. And if you need any more help, just let me know. Okay, thank you very much. As always, I will talk to you later. Bye.